Hi, my loves. I hope you are doing super fantastic. <laughs> um, wanted to get on here today to show you some new cards that I got. My girlfriend, um, Samantha, the one that um, recently had a birthday that I did a post about, uh, she sent me these through Amazon a while ago and I'm like super excited about it. I've already opened them up. Um, but I just wanted to do a video to show what they're kind of like, talk about like the feeling of it. Um, I just got to say this packaging, the actual box that the cards are in is like velvety. Like it's so soft. It's such a beautiful case. The writing kind of like pops out really, really nice. The artwork, if you can see, is absolutely gorgeous. It's very dark. Um, typically, I go for more of like the light style cards, being that I am, you know, usually more in tune with the higher level vibration. But I'm starting to realize that there's a lot of power in this as well. And I've always been a little bit nervous to use like the darker style stuff, but I'm prepared and I feel like there's a lot of positivity that can come from it. Um, when I opened it up, you can see the cards are really cool. They've got all these like keys on it. I thought that was amazing. Um, the other thing is I'm a huge green fan, so that won me over to begin with. And the key won me over. I'm a key girl, 100%. I mean, I have the key to happiness program, so I've always been connected with keys and it just really feels right. Um, the pictures are really, really cool. There's lots of different ones. You can see like the darkness, it makes it kind of difficult to see everything that's in the images. But when you take a good look, you can see them a little better, but yeah. So I'm not used to having darker cards. I'm used to having like the floaty fairy, like, like happy, happy cards. So this is nice. Like I've done a lot of shadow work. I'm very accustomed to dealing with more shadow energy. I just tend to deal with the light a lot. So yeah, it's nice. Now I have balance. Now I have both shadowy and really bright and light. So that should be able to provide you with a little bit more knowledge in case, you know, there's, there's always dark aspects of anything that you deal with. So this will bring light to that. And, and let me just, I'll just read one of these cards to you so you have an idea because it's actually when I looked in here, it's not as like dark as you would think. Like it's really positive. So let's start with hmm, mosaic. Let's start there. Okay. So it says, let chance play its creative role in your life. Trust everything is as it should be. When Mosaic presents, it means you have been trying to micromanage your life and your fixed view is limiting all the gifts and potential the universe is waiting to make available to you. It's time to say, I don't know, and to break free of the rules and conditions you have placed on yourself and on other people, places, and things. Trust that there is no specific right way things must be or progression of events that must occur. Know that you do not know, and that is good in this moment, and essential for the next chapter of your life to commence. Chance and surprise are essential creative elements in the unique mosaic of your life. <laughs> Break free of rigid stereotypes or ideas about what your life should look like or even feel like and what other people, places, and things should or shouldn't do and be. Consider the girl of mosaic. 
Her mask has broken free and is shattering as she allows old patterns and old fears to break away. Hues of purple indicate pure wisdom and peace. Glowing through every fiber of her being, she loosens her micromanaging grip and weaves her way through ribbons of energy that begin to wrap around her. The pieces of her mask cling to the fabric and form a new beautiful mosaic pattern. This new fabric of pure potential wraps around her naked form and her life is reborn. Like her, you are free to let go of self-limiting fear. Let your life surprise and amaze you and appreciate the beautiful potential of a sequence of events you could never have determined or orchestrated. And then it's got a ritual, which there's like tons of different rituals. This one here is like vision board manifestation, which is pretty cool. So um, I like it a lot. I think that it's a super powerful little book here with powerful, powerful cards. And, you know, that's one thing I've noticed with some cards though. And with, um, tarot is that you kind of want to have a little bit of that, like unknown, like, Hmm, this is interesting feeling in your gut. Not this like terrifying, like, I really don't want to be here. This is really bad type feeling, but like your intuition tends to give you a little sign where it's like you get a little flutter and it's more like excitement and like anticipation. And maybe I don't know this, but maybe I should step into it a little bit more to discover it. So um, I'm really happy with these cards. I think this was a beautiful, beautiful choice by Sam and I never would have picked it for myself. And that's why it's so nice when others offer gifts and they send them to me and you know I find something new and something that's like really feels good and you know whether it's light whether it's a little bit darker um obviously I think these ones have a lot more of like the positive vibe to it um I am not dark magic I do not do that I will not tap into that um and if anybody sends me something that is ridiculous I will likely um, do my own ritual on it and get rid of it. So <laughs> just letting you know, I mean, nothing against you, but if that ever happened, like I'm not afraid to do that and I'm not afraid to fight back. Like I'm completely protected. So it's all good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the cards and they're oh yeah i was gonna tell you that's why i was shuffling um usually like i've had a lot of cards where they oracle cards where they haven't shuffled nicely and these ones it's like like air like it's just it's so perfect i love when they shuffle this good like it just whew, ah, as they fall <laughs> so yeah, I gotta say, they are amazing. Cultivate love. These just fell on the floor, so I'll just. There's a solution for every problem. Honor yourself. So I'm feeling it really grateful, really excited about it. I can't wait to do my first video with these. And so, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you, Sam, so much for the cards. I'm really, really happy about them. And I, yeah, I can't wait to like use them. Stoked, dude, totally stoked. Okay, bye, I love you.